problem with virtual reality is resolution, with technology inspired by human evolution. This is the beginning of a revolution. Hello, Slash. My name is Urho Kontori. I'm the CEO and founder of Vario Technologies, a company from Helsinki, Finland, that is creating the most advanced virtual reality and augmented reality technologies. And we are using those to create a revolution in computing, which will begin by the end of next year when we launch our first professional human eye resolution VR headset with mixed reality capability. Now to recap the previous revolutions that didn't exist before Vario. First one was the text-based interface when we had a monitor and a keyboard and we could actually start interacting with computers. That of course created a monumental shift in the lives of each one in the planet. Similarly, the next revolution the graphical user interface revolution allowed us to do so much more. There wouldn't be Photoshop without the mouse and point and clicking. There wouldn't be browsers, video editing. world would be very different if this revolution didn't happen. And now, of course, the third revolution, the most recent one, is in each and everyone's pocket today. The mobile computing that became ever-present part of our lives that allowed us to do so much more wherever we were at any time. And of course, one of the key enablers for that one was the increase in power inside these mobile computers, but even more so, the direct interaction that made it easy to use these computers so that even babies would be able to use tablets and phones. Now, the fourth huge revolution is the immersive computing revolution. And this is part where Vario plays a huge part. Now, the immersive computing is all about removing all of the boundaries that are limiting our imagination. Because in the fourth revolution, you cannot tell apart anymore what is real and what is virtual. Everything can be manipulated. Every can, everything can be augmented. And how we see it is that the key point for this fundamental revolution is that we need to have the display devices capable of the human eye resolution. Now, it is only natural that Vario is working towards this one. But before going to the Vario solution, let me show you today's virtual reality. If you look at the image, this is really depicting what you are seeing when you put a modern high-end VR headset in your head. You want to see a new world. You kind of do see that one. You see space, you see light. What you don't see is detail. 
For example, a car industrial designer would love to see the car's beautiful contours, the reflections uh, on the surface of the car. They don't see that. They see a Lego, 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 and subpixel structure that makes this not look like an image, but a display. Now, let's look at the same thing with the Vario display. The transformation is huge. We are capable of nearly 100 times higher resolution than today's best high-end VR headsets. And of course, for many professional use cases, Thank you. This is very transformative. This makes VR not an interesting gimmick to trial, but the tool to use in everyday product flows. I'll tell you about those in a while a bit more. The solution for this is what we call bionic display. We call it bionic because it's inspired by the human biology. Human eye has been in the making for millions of years. And how it works is that we are looking at one point at a time in super high resolution. And that space is just the size of your thumbnail at an arm's length. There we are seeing 100 pixels per degree when put to the display parameters. In the periphery, we see just 10,000 times less than that. And now, of course, we make use of this one. We concentrate the pixels to the place where you're actually looking. We don't produce pixels anywhere else in the high resolution. Instead, we use typical modern VR headset displays to produce the periphery, because modern high-end is perfectly capable of doing 10,000 times lower resolution than our eyes can see. They're just, just fine for that. Now, how this actually looks when you put the headset on is that you're seeing one place at a time in super high resolution. Of course, this is following your gaze. And the effect of this one is that every single thing that you see feels to be in high resolution. So eventually, when you have looked uh, for a couple of seconds, it feels like just everything is in perfect resolution. And this is the key innovation that makes it so that we don't need to wait 10 years for these displays to come by. They are here now. How we do this one is a very simple concept. Now, I must say that. Vario has patented many, many, many more ways of achieving this effect. But this is the one that we have been working the most. And it's a very simple, elegant design. We have a normal VR headset display that shows the peripheral view. We have a super high quality micro OLED display that has the human eye resolution that gets reflected on a Vario made combiner which is letting you see both of the displays at the same time. And then what we do with the gaze tracking is that we tilt this combiner ever so slightly, and the reflection changes so that you're seeing the image at a different place, at the place where it's supposed to be in. Now, it gives me great pleasure to announce today that we are starting to give our devices to our partners starting from next Monday onwards. And after we contacted uh, with the press in June this year, we got the tremendous feedback from every single industry. Industrial design, training and simulation, architecture and engineering, immersive entertainment. Over 100 of the Fortune 500 companies contacted us asking that you guys are doing something magnificent. We have been trialing VR. Can you come and show us what you can actually do? So typically, we go there, we show our headset. And before people actually try it out, they say that we've seen these things. They're never true. We don't believe that you guys deliver either. Then they put the headset on and go, wow. You guys really don't talk shit. So today, we're announcing that on the industrial design side, we're partnering with the largest, the best automotive brands in the world with Audi, BMW, and the whole Volkswagen group of 17 sub-brands. <laughs> and we're starting to give them devices so that they can start using those and give us feedback what is wrong with those devices. Because that's the only way to learn. We are not car makers ourselves. How would we know what is the best way to perfect the device for their use cases? Similarly, for training and simulations, 
which is a really interesting domain for VR. We are partnering with Airbus, Bohemia Interactive, which is the largest simulations manufacturer in the world, and Saab, our very dear neighbors from Sweden. Of course, very similarly, we give devices, we get feedback. Device becomes better, faster iteration loop. When we ship at the end of next year, it's just perfect for simulation use. Architecture and engineering side, we are partnering with CERN, who is basically owner of the most complex machine in the world, the Light Large Hydrogen Collider. And of course, they are really interested in using VR for data visualization of the events that are taking place in that chamber, but also just to teach people how to do the maintenance task, because that beast is open once a year, and you need to do the whole year's maintenance on one day. Thousands of engineers rush in, do the job, and run out from the machine. Then Selen Group, one of the largest construction companies in the world. Again, we don't make buildings, they do. They know how to do it. As well as Drimple, who is building the most advanced building information model systems that are really the core of any large advanced building. Then lastly, immersive entertainment. We're partnering with 20th Century Fox in perfecting the Vario headset for location-based entertainment centers. Again, we don't know how to handle the very large crowds, fast-paced uh, uh, rollout times. They do, we learn with them. Magnobus just got an, an Emmy for their ISS experience, and they are the makers of the uh, immersive uh, um, uh, photography systems for the, for the movie industry. And lastly, of course, Technicolor, who are doing uh, very interesting laboratories in the Hollywood, as well as motion capture studios, so that our headsets can be used during the motion capture sessions. Now, this is going to be the first iteration product that we send to these partners, and then it gets better. And we are starting to ship these devices to AMD and to NVIDIA, and also partnering, uh, in addition to them, with Kronos Group making sure that we have perfect support for human eye resolution for every chipset on the GPU side and from Kronos's OpenXR standard so that it's by default functioning with human eye resolution. Of course, we'll also provide plugins that make it very easy to work with NVIDIA, uh, um, um, sorry, Unity and Unreal engines. And especially from Epic, we have been getting just stellar support all along. And lastly, very important thing is that Technicolor is not only a content partner for us, but they're actually going to be doing the color grading for our headset. So when you look through our viewfinder, what you see is a color, and you know that it's that exact shade of color it needs to be. We will have individually calibrated devices where you can trust every color you see. Perfect reproduction of multiple uh, color gamuts. And the road ahead. We begin now the early access program. Next, during, at the end of first half, we will show the mixed reality story of Vario. This is huge. This is the thing that Vario was founded on, and it's the thing that we have been working more. We just found at some point that you cannot do it perfectly unless you have the perfect display. That's what we announced today. And then, of course, at the end of next year, the professional product launch followed by our approach to the immersive computing paradigm. So, recapping, we have taken the promise of, vis of uh, visual computing, making that a reality so that you can actually begin the immersive computing revolution. We're collaborating with the best companies in the world, and we're starting to ship the alpha prototypes next week onwards. If you like to see the future of computing, the future of VR, we're showing this to the audiences in our North Bunker, just on this side of the room. I thank you and look forward to speaking to you again.